The Magic Cow Long ago, in a small village, there lived two farmers named Jack and Harry. They both were very rich. They both had big farms and owned many cows. But they never worked. They always hired other farmers and made them work in their fields. They both lived in big houses and wore expensive clothes. But despite of having everything, Jack and Harry were not happy. I want to hire more farmers to help me make more money. I agree. I want to buy clothes made of silk. Oh, how about we earn enough to build a, a palace of jewels? Oh, that sounds amazing. In the same neighborhood, a few houses away, lived Thomas. Thomas was a poor farmer. He only had one cow and a small piece of land. Hello, Thomas. A man in the neighboring village is selling his cow. Would you like to buy it? Uh, I wish I could, but I don't have money to buy another cow. I can lend you the money if you want. That is so generous of you, but even if I buy the cow with your money, how will she survive after? Neither do I have enough resources to take care of two cows, nor can I keep taking money from you every day. She will become weak. Thank you for your concern, my friend, but I am satisfied with whatever I have. Thomas was wise and hardworking. Every day he would go to his field and work the whole day. He then would come home with his cow and feed her. Thomas never asked for more. He was thankful for all that he had in his life. He always stayed happy. But Jack and Harry were not. They were very jealous of Thomas. How is Thomas always this happy? I have the same thought every time I see him. He doesn't have a big house or a big farm. Hmm, I think it's his cow. Harry, his only cow is better than all of ours put together. Maybe you are right. His only cow plows the entire field. I have an idea. Let's buy his cow. The next day, Jack and Harry went to Thomas and asked him if he was interested in selling his cow. But this is the only cow I have. We are ready to give you ten silver coins. That's the best price you will get. There are many cows up for sale. You can buy two. It's a good deal, Thomas. How is it a good deal? I have a healthy cow that I can feed well and take care of. You want me to sell this cow to you and buy two who I won't be able to take care of? I am not selling you my cow. Please leave. Jack and Harry were very angry, but they left quietly. Who does he think he is? How dare he say no to us? We are among the richest people in this village. He needs to learn to respect us. He is too proud of his cow. We will have to force him to sell it. Jack and Harry wanted to teach Thomas a lesson. That night, they sneaked out of their houses and walked towards Thomas's farm. Without any concern about their friend, they lit the whole farm on fire. The next day, Thomas woke up to the news of the fire. He rushed to see that his crops were completely destroyed. Oh no, my crops. How will I survive now? <laughs> Days passed and all of Thomas's stored food was now over. Neither Thomas nor his cow had anything left to eat. It's been two days. I can survive somehow, but the cow won't. <sighs> I guess I will have to sell the cow. Whoever buys her will take good care of her. Thomas had a small glass jar which he often used to save money. 
there was not much money left in there. As he didn't know how long he will be away from his house, he decided to carry all his money in a pouch and left his village. <laughs> On the way through the forest, Thomas realized that his money would not be safe in his pocket. I should tie this to the cow's bell. If a thief comes by, he won't think of attacking the cow. Thomas tied the pouch to the cow's bell and walked ahead. After walking for a while, he came across a village. He decided to rest a little. He left his cow under a shed and walked away to look for some water to drink. Near the shed, there was a shop of pulses and grains. The owner of that shop came out for a walk. <sighs> what a boring day! He saw the cow standing under the shed and walked closer. As soon as the cow turned her head towards the owner, a silver coin fell from her neck. Huh? How did that happen? He decided to go closer and inspect the cow. As he took one step closer towards the cow, another coin fell from her neck. What? This is a magic cow! The owner didn't notice the pouch of silver coins attached to the cow's bell. Taking it to be a magic cow, he decided to buy it at once. Just then, Thomas came back. Uh, him. Uh, hello, sir. Is this your cow? Yes. Is something wrong? Would you like to sell it to me? I need it urgently. Oh, of course. I was going to the nearby village to sell this cow. Uh, what? Maybe he doesn't know that this is a magic cow. Oh, I am lucky today. Very well then, I am ready to give you 500 silver coins. Do we have a deal? Thomas was surprised. He accepted the deal without wasting any time. He took his 500 silver coins and left, forgetting all about his pouch of money attached to the cow's bell. Thomas happily left for home. Once back, he saw Jack and Harry at his doorstep. They were already waiting for him. They thought Thomas would return home unhappy. But instead, there was a big smile on his face. Uh, uh, hello, Thomas. You, uh, you look happy. I am. I sold my cow to a generous gentleman. He paid me with 500 silver coins. 500 silver coins? 500 silver coins? Yes, now I can buy a bigger piece of land. I will grow more crops and sell them in the market. I can buy more cows too. I will have enough resources to take care of them. My cow has been really lucky for me. Anyway, I am tired now. I will see you soon. Goodbye. On the other hand, the owner found Thomas's pouch of coins attached to the cow's bell. He realized that it was no magic cow after all, but there was nothing he could do about it now. <sighs> Jack and Harry's efforts went in vain. They wanted to see Thomas unhappy. Although they were richer than Thomas, they felt small and poor. And Thomas, on the other hand, had never been happier. Jack and Harry hung their heads in disappointment and left. <sighs> Thomas bought many cows and a big piece of land with his money. He never stopped working. He grew crops and pulses and sold them in the market. Slowly, with his hard work, he became the richest farmer in the village. <laughs>